Hello everybody. So today I will talk about calculus. The topic today is about differential equations. So now I will show you how to answer. So we need to divide both sides by the S. Next, we have S Y S Y. This is about the root number one. So we can use about homogeneous. So I will put about Y equals to V S. Later that, we do first derivative for the both sides. First derivative of y, we have dy over dx. So we do first derivative of v, we will have about dv over dx multiplied by s. First derivative of s we have number one so we have v so i will put this one going here and here this one we change by this one so s s s and s we simplify Next, we divide both sides by this one. Next, we need to open parentheses. So, V, I will put in here. Next, we need to do common denominator. So this one, we have 3v plus v to the power of 2. Next, we combine two fractions in here. And we have v squared plus a v plus 16 over 3 plus v. Now, I will put this one go to the right. Next, I will put this one go to the right. The S and S go to the left with the negative sign here. Next, we put the integration for the both sides. Now, I will concentrate about this one. So, this one we can change into V plus 4 to the power of 2. So, we can use about integration by substitution. So, I will put about u equals to v plus 4 because we have v. So, I will put number 4 go to the left. Next, we do first derivative for the both sides. So this one we change by u, v we change by this one, dv we change by the u, and this one we have negative number 1, u divided by u square, negative number 1 divided by u square. And now 
we have the final answer. The integration of 1 over u, we have ln of the absolute value of u. The integration of this one, we have positive 1 over u, and I will put about c. About u, that is about this one. Next, the integration of this one, that is about this one. About this one, we have ln of the absolute value of s. About v, that is about this one. So we divide both sides by S. And now we need to change V into this one. Now we have the conditions. That means when S equals to number 1, Y equals to negative number 3. So we put this one going here to find the value of C. So this one, we have LN number 1, so you got 0. This one, 0. So this one, we have negative number 1. So C equals to number one so when we put this one go to the left and we got this one and we put number one going here this is the end thank you for watching here is about the full answer of the question in here